Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. A reader sent me the studio file that she was trying to trace and the problem she was having was she just wanted to trace the outer edge and not trace the words that were on the inside. And by the way, I thought this was very clever. She made these speech bubbles in PowerPoint. I never thought to do that. But she made the speech bubbles in PowerPoint and then brought them into the silhouette and added the wording. So on to the task at hand how to trace these without tracing the letters. I thought we'd just do a video in case any of you have a similar question. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the trace window. And we're going to go to select trace area. We're going to draw a box around. Then we're going to uncheck the high pass filter, turn the threshold up and then this is the important part we're just going to select trace outer edge okay so now let's go to the cut window now you can see it just trace the outer edge not the words select that red line and hit cut edge so you can see it's only going to cut around this outside. The words are not going to cut and she'll be able to print print this first and then cut it. In order to do that, we need to go, let's turn that off so you can see it. Let's go to the page tool windows, which is right here. Use printer setting. Let's go to the turn registration marks on. Turn those on. Or I'm going to select everything, right click, group. That way our cut lines will stay where they're supposed to be. And then we'll move this over to the print area inside the hash marks. And now it's ready to go to send to the silhouette. And as usual, well, you're going to print it first. After it prints, you're going to send it to the Cameo. You will skip printing. You will continue. And then detect registration marks before cutting. You will detect automatically. And then you'll load that into your mat. It will look for these three marks. And then you can go on to your cut window. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great day. If any of you have any uh, similar problems or items that you need help with, you can email me at lori4117 at gmail.com and I'll be happy to run through it and see if I can come up with a solution to any problem you're having or just, you know, show you a video on how to do it. Thanks and have a great day.